In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to set up the new registration restrictions feature on the BuddyBoss platform. With this feature, you'll be able to blacklist and whitelist email addresses in three different ways. You'll be able to allow or block user registrations by top level domain, such as .com or .org, email domains, such as buddyboss.com, and lastly, by full email addresses. Additionally, I'll show you how you can restrict registration to your entire site and only allow a specific domain or extension for those of you who wish to use the BuddyBoss platform as an internal intranet site. So let's jump to the WordPress backend so I can show you how to set this up. Now, I am in my WordPress backend under BuddyBoss, Settings and General. On this page, you'll see a new section called Registration Restrictions. Please note that this section is only available to users who are using the BuddyBoss registration form. Here, we have two options available to limit new user registrations on your site, domain registrations and email registrations. Under the domain restrictions, we can restrict domain name or top level domain from registering. For example, let's click add domain. Let's say we want to block a specific domain from registering. We'll add buddyboss.com. Now, anyone who uses at buddyboss.com will not be able to register. However, all other email addresses will be fine. We can add as many domains here as we'd like by clicking the add domain and repeating the same process. You could also use a wildcard symbol to exclude entire domains. So in this case, let's imagine we want to block all .com addresses from registering. We can add the star, which is a wildcard, and .com. Now, no .com email addresses will be able to register on your site. Of course, we also have buddyboss.com above, which is also blocked. But since it's going to be applied by a wildcard rule, it becomes unnecessary. How about if we wanted to block all .com accounts, but allow buddyboss.com users to register? In which case, we could edit the buddyboss.com rule and change this to always allow. Now, we have a situation where every single .com email address is restricted, except for users registering with buddyboss.com. This gives you plenty of flexibility if you do wish to block domains or have restricted access to user registrations. You can also extend this to email addresses by using the email restrictions. Again, we can add buddyboss at gmail.com this time and set it to always allow. This now means all .com email addresses are blocked from registering except buddyboss.com and a specific email of buddyboss at gmail.com. By using always allow and the never allow rule, you'll have the ability to restrict registrations so that you can stop or allow specific domains from registering. The other option, which you can see grayed out now, is only allow. This option allows you to completely lock down your user registrations so that you require an exact match, while every other domain or extension is blocked. This is perfect for sites that are being used as an intranet or an employee-only community. To do this, we're going to need to remove all the existing rules and start again. Let's say we want to use the BuddyBoss platform where only buddyboss.com employees can register. We'll add buddyboss.com and this time we're going to select only allow. Now, any other email address or domains that are not buddyboss.com will be blocked from registering. We can still use email restrictions if we wanted to stop a specific employee from being able to register, such as graham at buddyboss.com. And, as mentioned previously, you can also combine only allow with wildcards. Let's say we're a university institute. We want to allow any .edu email addresses to register. We can now use a wildcard, 
So let's type star dot edu and select this to only allow. Now we are restricted to only allow registrations from new users with a dot edu email address. If there was a specific university we wanted to block, we can add them such as london.edu and then select never allow. And again, if there was a particular user we wanted to block, we can still add them in the email restrictions to stop them from registering. For example, graham at university.edu. And we'll make that never allow. So in this example above, we're now allowing any .edu's to register except london.edu and one particular email address. When you're finished configuring your restrictions, click Save Changes. Now, let's go over to the front end to show you what this looks like to your users. For this example, I have restricted buddyboss.com domain, but have allowed john at buddyboss.com. I'm on my registration page to create a new account, and I filled all the boxes with sample details here using graham at buddyboss.com. I'm now going to click create account. And as you'll see, it displays an error message since the email address used for registration is not valid because the address or domain has been blacklisted. But if I change this to john at buddyboss.com, which is an email address that is marked as allowed, when we click create account, the registration process goes through and I just need to confirm my email address. Registration restrictions also applies to invitations. So we're going to go from our profile drop down menu to email invites and then send invites. We're now going to fill in the form. And then click send invites. You'll see a message along the top informing the user that the invitation was not sent due to the address or domain being blacklisted. While this new feature only applies to new registrations and will not impact registered accounts, if your user does update their existing email address and tries to replace it with a blacklisted address, they will see the same message. Let's go to the user profile dropdown, then to account, and then login information. We'll update our email address again to tom at buddyboss.com. Click save changes and you'll see the error message above. And that's it. This new registration restrictions feature helps give you more control over new registrations. Whether that's to lock your site down only to allow a specific domain or whether it's been used to block and allow emails and extensions. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback on this new feature in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date with our latest releases.